Hey guys, this is Richard of Fish and Idol China at Reese.com and we're in the show floor of Magna 2018 in Las Vegas. We're here at actually this science booth that Kevin generously made. This is actually very, very interesting and something that you guys should very much should be aware of what's going on to for our environment, for our fish. And I'm gonna introduce you to Alex, and he's gonna show you about his work about cyanide detection and the fish that we get in our industry. Alex? Hi, my name is Alex, and my work involves developing a cyanide detection method for fish caught with cyanide. If you don't know what cyanide fishing is, it's a really destructive practice that's used to catch fish in the Indo-Pacific region. And so what my project involves is looking at a metabolism of cyanide called thiocyanate, which is pretty much cyanide um, with a sulfur donor attached to it. And when, in cyan when fish are exposed to cyanide, it gets converted to thiocyanate and then slowly excreted um, out of the body. And after that fish is exposed, we can look at it up to 45 days after and see if thiocyanate is in the body. And by seeing the thiocyanate, we know that the fish was caught with cyanide. Um, and by doing that, we can limit buying from from exporters that catch fish with the structure practice of cyanide. And then we all know that cyanide, you know, it, it can be deadly. How does it affect fish? So cyanide is a metabolic inhibitor. Mm -hmm. So um, it binds the hemoglobin, hemoglobin, and the fish can't transfer oxygen throughout its body. Mm -hmm. um, so the body tissue needs oxygen to produce energy. So it right. pretty much stuns the fish so they can't move. So uh, fishermen can quickly capture them. It also, it, it's been proven to do damage to certain organs like the liver, um, and sometimes fish and other non-target species even get a lethal dose right. um, and end up dying from the cyanide exposure. Why this one is so important is, is that if we were, let's say that if we buy a fish from a fish store, it may be in there for like a week or two, but it doesn't matter how long it's been there, you know, because cyanide effect can still affect the fish, and it just, it just, you know, when you get a mysterious death in your tank, all all of a sudden it just it was doing well it was eating it just flop flop flops dead this could be the reason and and how does your research on this um, can, can work practically with the stores and etc what we want to do is we want to develop a method for stores or even distribution centers to be able to um, efficiently um, and ch well, cheaply uh, detect thiocyanate so they can um, make sure that they're purchasing people that catch fish sustainably. Because cyanide's not just harmful for fish, it also kills corals and inverts. Right. Um, and it's, it's uh, one of the major problems that coral reefs are facing today. Right. I think this is a good practice and then like you know everyone should be involved and then should be made aware of this and I'm actually looking very much forward to your project you know enhancing like further and further so that it becomes much practical so that we fit to find out and you know and so, so that also that you get a, you know you were able to buy fish without have to worry about if there was cyanide caught or why did this fish die just just out of the blue yeah. like a new addition all right guys well thank you so much Alex for your time thank you. you did an amazing project I'm very much looking forward to your project in the future and then like the progress of this result and thank you for your time again have a great day guys and and you know what let, I'm gonna let him do that.